Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Science is Everywhere. My name is Savannah Stanley. Today, we are going to be joined by one of our very own Flint Scientific staff scientists, Dr. Alan Downward. Today, he is going to give us a tour of New Zealand. Dr. Allen, take it away. At the southern end of the South Pacific Ocean is the island country of Aotearoa, New Zealand. New Zealand's nearest neighbour is Australia, but even that is about 2,000 kilometres away. New Zealand has two main islands, Te Ika Amaui, the North Island, and Te Waipunamu, the South Island. These islands are separated by the Cook Strait. The islands were created 23 million years ago, when land was thrust out of the ocean by volcanic forces. New Zealand has more than 50 volcanoes, some of which are still active today. The South Island is home to the highest mountain peak in New Zealand, Eiraki Mount Cook, which rises to 3,754 meters. Its name translates as Cloud Piercer. Kia ora. I'm currently visiting Te Waipunamu, New Zealand's South Island, and behind me in the gap between those mountains, you can see Eoraki Mount Cook, the largest mountain in New Zealand at 3,724 metres. I'm going to go for a walk around this area, and I'll check in with you in a little bit. So we're about an hour walk from where I first said hi. You can still see Mount Cook, or Eoraki in behind me, and down below there is Mueller Lake. It's a glacier lake fed by the Mueller Glacier that flows in from Mount Sefton over there. You can see there a moraine wall, which is all the rocks that have been left behind by the glacier as it has retreated over the years. Another interesting feature is the color of the water. That turquoisey blue is very, very common for glacier lakes. I'm standing on the side of Conical Hill, overlooking Hamner Springs. Nestled in New Zealand's Southern Alps, Hamner Springs is famous for being an adventure tourism destination where bungee jumping was invented and where you can go jet boating on the rivers. It is also known for its thermal hot springs, where geothermal water heated underground is piped up for bathers to enjoy in a variety of different pools with temperatures ranging from 36 to 42 degrees Celsius. The Southern Alps and the thermal hot springs here in town provide evidence of New Zealand's geological past and present and serve as a great reminder that science is everywhere. I'm currently at the summit of Otamahua, Quail Island, and that is the port town of Littleton over my shoulder. But as we look around the area, what you might start to notice is that with the exception of the harbour mouth, we are fully surrounded by hills and mountains. That is because we are standing in the middle of an ancient shield volcano that erupted about a hundred million years ago. This is another great example of how science is everywhere when you start looking for it. Whether we're looking at alpine mountain ranges, the lateral moraine of a receding glacier, or thermal hot springs. There's all these little bits of information left behind by geological events in the past and in the present. We just have to keep our eyes open and think like a scientist. Thank you, Dr. Allen, for taking us on all of your adventures and showing us all the science that you found in New Zealand. And everybody, until next time, remember to find ways that science is everywhere.